Today we will show you how to install tax motion plates on your Neo series trainer. For this video, we will be using a Neo 2T, but the process is the same for the Neo and Neo 2. These easy to mount motion plates bring multi-directional movement to your Neo series trainer. We will show you how to install your tax Neo motion plates with your bike mounted on the trainer. Install your bike where you will be riding your trainer. Ensure this is a flat surface. Be careful nothing comes in contact with the motion plates. First, unplug your trainer. Now, we will be removing the rubber feet from your trainer and installing them onto the motion plates. Tilt the trainer on each side to remove the four rubber feet. Next, place the rubber feet into the corresponding hole inserts on your motion plates. The motion plates have an R and an L on them indicating right and left. Lifting the right side of your trainer, insert the right motion plates into the holes left by the original location on the rubber feet. Repeat the process for the left side. The motion plates have a notch in the back to ensure the plates are properly aligned. Verify each side is in alignment. You can lift the trainer up and line up the plates if needed. Make sure the trainer is freely moving on the plates when the installation is complete. Place the front wheel support under the front tire of your bicycle. Make sure you place the center of the wheel on the alignment arrows on the front wheel support. Plug your Neo 2T back into the wall adapter and ensure there is no interference from any objects. Make sure the bike and plates glide smoothly back and forth. And now you're ready to ride. For more information, go to support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.